जय श्री माता जी एवरी वन अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग मेडिटेशन लेट्स ऑल कलेक्टिवली बाउ डाउन एंड ऑफर अवर प्रणाम्स टू आदि शक्ति एंड पुट आर सेल्फ इन बंधन Let's take three Maha Mantras, followed by Shri Ganesh Mantra. Shri Nirmala 
Let's place our right hand on mother earth. O oh, Mother Earth, please absorb all the imbalances from our left channel. Shri Ji, please bless us with the qualities of Shri Mahakali and Shri Bhairavana on our left channel. Let's place our right hand on heart. Shamata Ji, by your grace, I am the pure spirit. Let the divine light of the eternal spirit within me, enlighten all my chakras, all my channels. Please bless us with the pure innocence Witness state, compassion, and the wisdom to be in reality and truth. Right hand on the lap, left hand on mother head. Shri Mataji, please bless us with the qualities of Shri Kartikeya. Please destroy all the six enemies of soul within me. Left hand on right Swadhisthan. Ramadha Ji. Very lean. You are the doer. You are the enjoyer. Please bless us with the pure attention. Sri Nirmal Chitta. Tvameva Sakshan Shri Nirmal Chitta Sakshan Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devai Namo
attention on right now here. Shemarthaji, verily, you are the royal dignity within me. Attention on liver. Ramathaji, verily, you are my guru, my master. Please put your lotus feet into my attention. Please teach me how to avoid things that take away my attention. Pitta Nirodha Saksha Om Tvameva Saksha Shri Chitta Nirodha Saksha Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devenamu Namaha Left hand on right hand. Mother, verily, you are the responsibility feelings within me. You are my mother and father. You are the mariadas of good conduct within me. Mataji, please remove all the excessive responsibility, all the excessive doer feeling, affecting and bringing imbalance to my right heart. Attention on right Vishuddhi. Shri Mataji, verily, you are the sweetness of my words and actions. Left hand on right hand here. Shri Mahatankar. Om Sakshat. Shri Mahatankar Sakshat. Shri Adi Shakti Mataji. Shri Nirmala Devenamu. Mother, let your kingdom come and thy will be done. Place right hand on the forehead. Shamatachi, please recite within me as divine forgiveness. Make me a forgiving person. 
I forgive everyone, including myself. Can use the left hand to place on back akya and right hand on front akya. Om Ham Sham. Om Ham Sham. Om Ham Sham. Om Ham Sham. Mataji, please put your lotus feet into my brain. You be the controller of this brain. Let this brain be enlightened with the light of the pure spirit. Attention on Sastra. Sri Nirvikalp Samadhi. Om Dvameva Sakshat Sri Nirvikalp Samadhi Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Deva Namo So now we have to be wise to see what is destroying us and what is destroying our inner being. For Sahaja Yogis it is very important because if say there is a cloth or a sari which is blown off by the wind, even if you can hold it on one corner, you can hold it and after some time the whole thing can subside. 
and this is what has to happen actually to the world when such yogis will hold the sari we can call or this universe with their wisdom and firm faith in such yoga otherwise they can be blown off also if they are not rightly placed if they are not grounded if they are not fixed to their own enlightened faith of such yoga they can be blown off with this wind which is there to torture the whole world to destroy the whole world so the responsibility of such yogis is very important that their ganesh principle should be all right if it is not all right then the whole of such yoga movement can collapse for ladies and for men i have to make a humble request that they should try to put their shri ganesh in a very respectable position in their lifestyle that should be the highest the most important and also every day to be remembered that we are very much blessed by shri ganesh to get our self realization there are so many qualities of shri ganesha which i have described one of them is that he is a child and he is very humble he is very playful he is very interesting and he is extremely humble and despite his weight he is very lightweight because he can sit on a small little mouse he doesn't try to show off he doesn't have uh, his vahanas as great as vishnu's or anything his vahana is very simple the simplest uh, or we can create the smallest creature which can really crawl is a mouse and he uses this mouse with this mouse he expresses his own power that he doesn't need any other vehicle his his vehicle is his simplicity he moves he penetrates and he affects the lives of people through very very simple sweet methods in such yoga we have to realize how do we impress others for example nobody will be impressed in such yoga if you have a very uh, great car or anything or if you have a uh, very uh, wealthy uh, expression of your life nobody feels impressed i have seen that what impresses people is the simple uh, expression of your love through certain gestures through certain presence through certain behaviors <clears throat> and i have seen people who are very sweet who just express themselves in such a innocent simple childlike manner that goes into the heart of the people i mean they describe to me sometimes the sajogis other sajogis it is very surprising how they express their uh, uh appreciation of other sajogis is very very sweet and extremely uh loving delicate all that is like a child how a child plays around and how he amuses you how the child tries to do to do things for you uh, like i know uh, my grandchildren uh, they would be sitting outside when i was having my bath they were all born realized so when i came out what i find they're sitting there with the powder to be put on my feet with the scent to be put on my hands <laughs> all such thing they would be there and I, i i never told them nobody told them but they would be sitting there if i am uh, uh, lying down then they would come and cover me up and all the time 
trying to see how they can look after me, like as if they are my parents or <laughs> they are bigger than me, and also to uh, guide me in a way, for example, if I am walking. Then if there is a stone or something, then they would put their hands, Nana, you don't come, oh, is there is a stone here, you be careful, go that way. As if I have no eyes to see, they are the ones who are my eyes who are telling me to do it. So sweet in their, I have seen in their childhood how careful they were and they knew uh, what I like, what I don't like. So sweet and so uh, assuring uh, that they were all the time trying just to understand me. That is what is the other quality of Sri Ganesha is that he always tries to please his mother. He doesn't want to do anything that will make her unhappy. He doesn't say no to. Is with some sadhus have a bad habit. If I tell them no, not that. This is not to be done. The respect of the mother one has to learn from Sri Ganesha. In that I find people are little over. Uh, smart. See, if I say something, immediately they'll correct me. No, not that. This smartness is uh, not very uh, helpful, I think, because if I say something, uh, if I may say also that today, just now, it is uh, morning time, supposing I say. Now, you will immediately go, no, 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 it's not morning time, can't you see, this is uh, evening time. So what have you achieved? I know it is evening time. <laughs> but why did I say it is morning time? Just to see. You don't achieve anything by that. By saying, no, not that, this was not so, this is so, this is smartness. But with this smartness, you outsmart yourself. So what did you achieve? It? You see, what you have to show, see, what did you achieve? By doing these comments or saying like this or talking like this, what did you achieve? Nothing. But you are tested all the time. And in that testing, you find out What's wrong with you? It's very important for people who are more close to me to understand that if I say something, do not take it very literally. You see, because I am Mahamaya also, if I say something, it may be just to test you. Then you go and say, no, not this, not that. It's the mind which is just absorbing. Even the testing, staking the testing, then only you will know that you are being tested and that your testing is just to see how far deeply you understand me. But there are also some other people who misinterpret me. I have seen it is very wrong to do that, but it comes because they are not wise enough. They misinterpret. They want to say, this mother said, that mother said, this is not good, that is not. They try to show off themselves by saying that we have understood mother very well. It's not easy to understand me, I must tell you very frankly. You cannot understand me very well. Only thing, try to understand yourself. I am like a mirror for you. So when you look into the mirror, what do you say? You cannot understand mirror, but you can understand yourself. So whenever you look into the mirror, you try to understand yourself. You don't look into the mirror to understand the mirror. Once you try to understand the mirror, the mirror will be broken and finished. And your image will be also finished. So this is a very 
simple thing but quite subtle. And that's what is the quality of Sri Ganesha. That he knows what his mother will like, each and everything. And he does everything that is good for him because he's by that he is pleasing his mother. His complete dedication is to the mother, is not to any other thing, not to any other deities. He fought with all of them. He is not bothered about who others are. He goes to all of them through the understanding of the mother and respects them through the understanding of the mother. But some people I have seen uh, still cannot do that. They still stick on to uh, some sort of a deity they have been worshipping, some sort of an ideology they have been having. Then they are not fully in connection with it. And that is what is that he is just in connection with his mother. To him she is everything. She is the source of knowledge, she is the source of joy, she is the source of truth. He doesn't have to look to anybody else. Now it looks very uh, egoistical uh, to say these things in modern times, a woman saying like that, uh, that you all uh, behave in that manner. But you can understand that if you have to gain anything, If you have to achieve any knowledge within, if you have to ascend higher, then you have to learn from Sri Ganesha what he does and what is his relationship with his mother, which is purifying, nourishing and result-oriented that the result is that you ascend gradually. As I was telling yesterday to some people that I have not uh, said everything from the very beginning, all the subtle things. Gradually you have grown and accordingly I have talked. If you were like Sri Ganesh, all of you from the very beginning, I would have told you everything. But Sri Ganesha doesn't require even to know anything. He already knows. He is a very mature person or we can say the most mature deity is Sri Ganesh. Now what you have done is that with wisdom you have grown and gradually I have told you of many things. But I didn't talk of many things, like the genesis, like the beginning of our life, how we came. I have said it in a way, in a very, very uh, gross way, but all in subtleties I have not said much. Because I don't want you to get to any uh, discussion or to any point which cannot be verified by your vibrations. Whatever you can verify by your vibrations becomes your knowledge. That is what gradually is told to you. You should not interfere or you should not indulge into those books and things which talk of the origin of the earth and the origin of this and that. You should not get into these things because your mind will be diverted, you will take to knowledge which may not be knowledge and then you will start thinking, oh, I don't know this part, I don't know that part. What you have to know is very simple, is what are you? You are the Spirit and the light of the Spirit will tell you everything gradually as much as you can bear it. It will not tell you something that you cannot bear. It's a very uh, good analogy when we say that you are the light. But the light which you are carrying is very different from this ordinary light. This light is uh, doesn't understand, doesn't think. Now the light which you are carrying is the light which understands things and it gives you that much of light, whatever you can bear. It won't flash. If it will flash, you will be shocked. It won't dim down. It will be 
absolutely in relation to what you can understand. Sometimes the deities emit too much of vibrations in pujas, I have seen it. But if you cannot bear it, they don't enter into. They trouble me, but they won't enter into. So one must understand that what is important is not what you know about this and know about that and know about that. It's not so important. What is important is what stage you have reached, at what maturity you are in such a form. Now there are so many qualities of Sri Ganesha, as I told you, which I, I think there's no time today to talk about it. But gradually I've been talking about all his qualities and all of them can be expressed and manifested in your being if you are really respecting him. Absolutely. That's the only way one can manifest his qualities. May God bless him. Namata Ji, please bless us with the qualities of Sri Ganesha and his understanding and wisdom to do things which will please the Divine, which will please Adi Shakti which will please you, Shamantaji. Let's sing three ma mantras. Mm-hmm. 
महासरस्वती महाकाली त्रिगुणात्मिका कुंडलिनी साक्षा श्री आदिशक्ति माता
जय श्री माता जी एवरी वन लेट्स ऑफर प्रणाम बंधन थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग टू डेज मेडिटेशन है निर्मल डे एवरी वन